Hey, kidsters. So now we're going to draw our very own setting. So for this um, video, you'll need a piece of paper, crayons, and a pencil to draw your setting. If you do not have those um, supplies at home, you can use your whiteboard, um, but we do prefer paper, crayons, and a pencil. And when you're done, you can upload your um, picture to Class Dojo to your teacher. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So remember, a setting is where the story takes place. We just spent the last almost 10 minutes identifying um, the setting in some storybooks by analyzing the illustration. And so now we're gonna draw a very own setting, which is a bedroom. So what are some things that you find in a bedroom? Good, yeah, some things that you find is a bed. So we're definitely gonna have to draw a bed. What are some other things that you might find in a bedroom? Good, yep, the floor and the walls. What else? A window, what are some other things? Good, a drawer. Yep, a closet, maybe a bookshelf, awesome. These are all awesome things. The more details that we add in our story, um, the reader can better identify the setting. They can better identify where the story takes place. All right, let's go ahead and draw a bed. So let's go ahead. We're gonna draw a bed, we're gonna use our shapes and go ahead and make a rectangle. Remember, a rectangle has two long sides and two short sides. So, so make your rectangle, I'm making my rectangle to draw my bed. All right, and I'm gonna finish my bed off like that. And I need to, that, that just looks like a plain rectangle. I need to make it look like a bed. So I need to add a pillow. I'm gonna add a smaller rectangle for the pillow on the bed. And then I'm gonna add a blanket. So I'm gonna add a horizontal line going across and another horizontal line going across to make a blanket. And if I want, I can add some details to my blanket. I can decorate my blanket. I'm going to add some polka dots. So I'm gonna make a pattern and I'm gonna add some circles to make like a polka dot blanket. You can go ahead and decorate your blanket the way that you want to. Maybe you want stripes, a stripe pattern. Maybe you want some stars or maybe you just want it to be a color like blue or pink or purple or red. So I'm gonna add my polka dots and I could, I'm gonna make my polka dots be red make it like a pattern, a pattern, what we learned in math. All right, so let's see, what else can we draw? Yep, so I'm gonna draw my window, and my window, I'm just gonna draw a square. I'm gonna draw a square for my window, and then I'm gonna draw a vertical line going down in the middle of my window, and then a horizontal line going across. I have my window. What are some other things you all mentioned? Yeah, a drawer. So I'm gonna draw a drawer in my window. I mean, in my bedroom. I'm gonna make my drawer go. Um, hmm, should I make it go vertical or horizontal? I'm gonna make a horizontal drawer because that's what I have in my room. A horizontal drawer. So that's going across. So that's a horizontal rectangle. So that means the two long lines are going horizontal and the two short lines are going vertical. Vertically. I'm gonna draw a line in the middle. And then I'm gonna draw some circle knobs so you know that that's my bedroom. I mean, my drawer, I'm sorry. So you can open it. And I'm gonna draw some stuff on my drawer. Maybe you have a lamp that's on your drawer so you can draw another rectangle and a vertical line. Um, and let's see, what else can we add to the bedroom? Oh, I'm gonna draw a carpet. You don't have to draw a carpet, but I'm gonna draw a carpet. I'm gonna make a circle for my carpet and I'm done. I drew my setting and this looks like a bedroom. So if the reader is looking at my page, they can identify that my story takes place in a bedroom. Good job.